really we just we, we pray together for uh, people to use the scriptures to, to counter anti-Semitism and, and remember the promise why we're even here. We're here in Israel because God has called us to be here in his word. And we just we just thank God that even for Gilad Erdan, as he stands up in the in the UN and he speaks out against liars and he speaks there, give him and all of the the international spokespersons, myself too, included. Psalms 9 verse 1, pray that over. Psalm 68 verse 30, pray that over us, please, guys. Um, stand in the gap now for divine intervention to diminish uh, the lies, the twisting of truth. There's people that are standing pro-Hamas, pro-Islamic pro Jihad, pro Israel Dinat Qassam, pro-Hezbollah, pro-ISIS. Death to Israel, they're saying. Death to America, they're saying. Death to the free world, they're saying in Europe. A silencing of these enemies, a stop, a stop in their tracks to the Iranian squid-like, uh, octopus-like um, terror you know, and, and the axis of evil behind that, Psalms 140 verse 1, Jeremiah 50 verse 25, we are praying for the righteous to arise, to grow, the people of faith to stand together. Jeremiah 49 verse 38, to stand together right now. Strategic intercession from Iranian uh, friends of Israel in Canada, in Israel, in everywhere where people that have Iranian ancestry, Persian ancestry, that they will stand in the gap right now for their country and for Israel. We just pray for this war against Hezbollah in the north. It's really brimming. Uh, tanks are all there on the border. Our guys are set up. Yalom, I'm from the Yalom Elite Unit, Combat Engineer Corps, Elite Unit for Special Missions. We're set up, uh, you know, and so pray for the tactics against uh, that there could be a King Hiram to arise and not the evil. Uh, turn to Isaiah 11, verse 13 and 14. Hosea 1, verse 11. And look what happens to the enemies of Israel. We pray for a decisive victory against the enemy, like in Joshua 13. You know, miracles. Hey, the sun can stand still again, but we need the intercessors to raise their hands, like Moses and Aaron and her. They raised their, the hands of Moses and they stood and they saw a great victory happen. We pray for financial breakthroughs. We know Biden, Biden administration has shut down a transport of, of weapons to Israel, stopped a, a key weapons shipment. Uh, and so we just pray right now, Psalms 109 verse eight, uh, that, that leaderships, uh, countries will take a, a, a true stand, a smart stand. And as the Jewish people return home and make Aliyah, that we as the Aliyah return center will be prepared and ready and, uh, and, and standing in the gap. And so, and, and that the society would be more prepared for Aliyah. Psalms 80 verse eight and nine, Isaiah 27 verse six. And for just all of the, of the people of faith to stand together. Thank you friends for, um, standing together. These are the steps which uh, we're taking in faith right now as we're heading towards a great and glorious time of peace, I believe. Isaiah 19 talks about a time of peace. Egypt, my people. Assyria, my handiwork. Israel, my inheritance. These three will be in peace and I believe that time is coming, but we have a journey until we get there and there are some blockades to peace which are being removed right now and, and then we believe for a time of peace coming. So stand with us in faith through these times. Get your intercess intercessors together. Stand with the work of the faithful Galileans. Go to uh, share posts. Uh, go, join us in the prayer house. Join us on altarofprayer.com and, and join a daily rhythm of faith in action. God bless you from the front, from the Galilee right now on a, uh, as we are in the midst of it.